are we getting closer to objective reality? How do we know if these interfaces in the process of science, the reason we like those interfaces is because they're predictive of some aspects, strongly predictive about some aspects of our reality. Is that completely deviating from our understanding of that reality or is it helping us get closer and closer and closer? Well, of course, one critical constraint on all of our theories is that they are empirically tested and pass the experiments that we have for them. So, so no one's arguing against experiments being important and wanting to test all of our, our current theories and uh, any new theories on that. So that's, that's, that's all there. But we have good reason to believe that science will never get a theory of everything. In everything, sense. everything. <laughs> everything, everything, right. A final theory of everything, right. I think that my, my own take is, for what it's worth, is that uh, Gödel's incompleteness theorem sort of points us in that direction. That even with mathematics, uh, any finite axiomatization that's sophisticated enough to be able to do arithmetic, it's easy to show that there'll be um, statements that are true, that can't be proven, can't be deduced from within that framework. And if you add the new statements to your axioms, then there'll be always new statements that are true but can't be proven with a new axiom system. And the best scientific theories um, in, in physics, for example, and also now evolution, are mathematical. So our theories are going to be, they're going to have their own assumptions and um, the, they'll be mathematically precise. And there'll be theories perhaps of everything except those assumptions because the assumptions are we say, please grant me these assumptions. If you grant me these assumptions, then I can explain this other stuff. But so you have the assumptions that um, are like miracles as far as the theory is concerned. They're not explained. They're the, the starting points for explanation. And then you have the mathematical structure of the theory itself, which will have the girdle limits. And so my, my take is that um, reality, whatever it is, is always going to transcend any conceptual theory that we can come up with. 